This is battery 66. This is going to be the first one going into the Iver vehicle. The pack weighs roughly around 400 pounds. What's going to happen is the clamshell is going to lift up the vehicle up to about five, six, seven feet, and then this will actually lift up using air pressure to do the install into the vehicle. Now this battery is pretty much designed to literally hug the tunnel of the vehicle down to the millimeters to get the most clearance for the passengers inside the vehicle. Yeah, just from a specifics perspective, the battery is six feet tall, T-shaped battery, um, a little less than 400 pounds, and I'm still trying to get that weight down just a bit as well. But the battery is um, lithium-ion, and we all know that lithium-ion is not the same, every lithium-ion is not the same. LG Chem, our supplier for our battery cells, have a special design that's, their design is not General Motors, but it's LG Chem's design, but it's designed to meet all of our requirements requirements for the 40 mile range on electricity only, um, um, designed to ensure that we can meet all of our hot weather and cold weather requirements. Um, so the battery in our announcement today that LG Chem is a supplier has been a, a very, uh, very good, healthy co-development effort for a number of years with LG Chem. And um, uh, we, we, we are really, really excited about them being our supplier for this, for the battery cell. Now, as you know, the battery itself is comprised of a number of other components. Um, there are thermal systems within the battery pack. There are structural components of the battery pack itself. There's electronics. Um, the battery has, in itself, in itself, its own computer. It understands, you know, how hot the battery is in the various cells and the, the voltage and the current, and it tries to determine the state of charge of the battery and sends that information to the rest of our vehicle. So it's a pretty sophisticated uh, battery pack uh, that uh, has been engineered by General Motors, developed, gone through a number of different analytical activities in order to really optimize the battery itself and all the various subsystems, including the cell, to meet our overall goal, which is the 40 mile range. But ultimately, General Motors is responsible for that thermal system design, and it's very intricate. Um, General Motors is responsible for the electronic system and how the uh, how the the monitoring of the voltage will occur, how uh, the use of when I get that I'm at you know a volt, or I'm at two volts, or I'm at three volts. What do I do with that information, and how to determine the state of charge? It's a prediction. It's a math mathematical prediction on state of charge, and um, it's very important that we understand that at all times so that we can op operate. Um, that battery at the optimum state of charge. The battery freeze? Yes, we have to um, heat the battery up when, um, and again, as a full um, a, a full uh, service automotive company, we um, design our systems to work at very, very cold temperatures. In fact, the team should be on their way up to uh, some of the cold climates uh, just this week to test out our vehicles at very, very cold temperatures, minus 10, minus 20, minus 30.